In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make same query to ChatGPT again and again using chain of prompt. So let me give you an example of your use case. So for example, if you have like thousands of um, businesses to whom you want to reach out informing about your business, you want to personalize that email, right? You want the first email line to describe what their business is and how you feel their business uh, can be helped using your services. Now to do that, if you're just generating one by one, it can take a lot of long time, but we can use chain of prompt to do that very fast. So here I have made a list of the business name, their title. So I got this title by if you visit any website and you use this extension, you can get their title and their description. So I got their title and their description just so that I can tell AI what this business is about. And then I prepared this prompt, which basically what it is, is write a cold email to business name. And here is the business name. So we want to update that based on whatever the business name is. That's why I have surrounded that with double curly brackets. Then I provided the title and the description of that business. So this title and description will be updated based on each row. And that's how a personalized prompt will be created for each of these rows. Then I told them okay, I want a cold email to suggest them my application called second brain for your information. So I pasted um, this second brain. Uh, so basically this is a new product. So this product, I just copy pasted the exact text and just pasted it inside this three dash dash dash. Uh, I also did a little bit uh, things. So for example, if you know about how HTML is like HTML, usually if something is starting, it will start with this bracket. And if something is closing, it start, uh, it will be like brackets and then slash. All I'm trying to do is because this is a lot of bunch of text, like it's very random text. I have just copy pasted the whole website. Don't usually recommend it. I will rather say okay, just copy text like this and that. But I got lazy and I just copy pasted. So to make sure AI did, don't get confused what is prompt and what is the information, I just separated it like this so that AI understand, okay, this is information about second brain. And then I continue the prompt, which is subject will be, I can automate 50% of your customer support query. So. Let's see how we can use chain of prompt. So the first thing is I will download this CSV file. So it's called this email line and then I'll click on choose, select that CSV file. And now I can provide the prompt. Now in this prompt, make sure this, um, the fields we want to use are exactly how it is in the header. So here it is business na uh, slash, uh, space name. N is capital B is capital. So we will keep that as is title is T capital and so on and so forth. Okay, so the prompt is there and all you need to do is just click on generate message. Okay, so I haven't provided the open AI key. So make sure you get your open AI key and paste it here. We don't save it anywhere. It's just saved on your local storage. And then I'm going to click on generate. Now, I have built sheet AI application for this before. So if you have tried sheet AI, basically sheet AI does the same right inside Google sheet, but we faced an uh, issue that there was a limitation of 30 seconds window. So if you used any uh, custom function inside Google sheets, then you can only use it for like, it, it can only run for 30 seconds. Now email is something which can be written in very fast, but if you have some bigger use case, or maybe you want to process a more bigger text chunk, then it can take longer. So that's why I built chain of prompt so that there is no limitation. You can provide it thousands of rows and it will just work and work and work. And when it's done, it will just prepare, present the data to you. So let's see how the response are. So you can see subject automating solution to streamline your customer support query, dear magic slide. So I have provided them. This is magic slides. So it says dear magic slides team. I hope this email finds you. My name is this. So you can kind of enter your name here. Um, and I am reaching out to you on behalf of this. I recently came across your amazing PowerPoint add-on. Magic Slide was truly impressed. So you see how we are personalizing their email. We haven't even started talking about ourselves. We are talking about, oh, I checked out your application, which we didn't. Uh, but it's like, I'm just saying, like, if you have thousands, you, ha you don't have to. Um, then we say as an AI powered chatbot platform, second brain specializes in automating repetitive customer support queries. We have developed a chatbot solution that can seamlessly integrate with Magic Slide's app. So you see how the personalization uh, and significantly reduce the time and effort involved in handling customer support and queries. Our chatbot powered by an advanced na uh, natural language processing algorithm is trained to answer frequently um, questions, provide information and handle. So uh, handle. I think this got a uh, cut because of the 
text limits I have provided. So of course, I'll add all these different options here. Ki how long the text uh, response can be. I think that response size. I'll I'll increase this so it will not cut out like this. But I hope you get the idea. So this is how chain of prompt works. Um, give it a try and let me know how, what you think of it.